Hello and welcome to another episode of Husky Trails. People often ask me about my various mushing activities, how they could get into this with their own dogs and what kind of equipment they would need. So I decided to do a video series on my channel explaining our gear. In this video I will talk about the equipment and setup I use for dog sledding or traditional mushing. As a disclaimer, I want to say that we do not do this professionally or competitively. We do this simply for recreation, fun and exercise. So this is my personal best practice. Other people may do it slightly differently. Laika is also my only dog, so this is geared towards a one dog setup. But the general principle is the same for larger teams. And I will talk about what needs to be different if you have more dogs. This is our equipment. First of all, your dog will need a pulling harness. We use a standard X-Pack, but there are different styles and manufacturers and they can usually help you find the right type and size. But the X-Pack is the most common one for dog sledding. Then there is the gang line, which is made up of several parts. This is what connects the dog to the sled. Then something that functions as your sled bag. And lastly, the sled. This one is called a kick sled. Except for the sled, all of this equipment can actually be used for other mushing activities like bike joring. So you won't have to buy new gear for each new activity you want to try. So a kick sled is a small recreational sled that is used for one or two dogs. If you want to enter in racing competitions, you would have to get what's called a sprint sled. What I really like about this one is that it's foldable, which makes for easy transportation and storage. It simply attaches with four bolts, washers and wing nuts. New, they cost about three to four hundred dollars, but you can often find cheaper used ones through local mushing groups, for example on Facebook. They don't make sled bags specifically for kick sleds, so I simply use my backpack. It fits really nice and I can use it for other activities with my dog, like hiking. If you're crafty, you can also just sew your own. If you have three or more dogs, you will need a bigger sled, like a full basket or toboggan sled, like they use on the Iditarod. And they do make sled bags for those, but they're $100 and up for just the bag, so many people just make their own. If you decide to use your own rig, you need to be careful to keep the claw brake free when strapping it on. The claw brake is your main brake and needs to be unobstructed. So these lines are called the gang line. It's made from polyethylene rope and consists of several sections. The blue one here is called the main line. It's an eight foot line with an integrated bungee part that expands another foot, foot and a half. A combined bungee main line works well for one or two dogs, but if you have three or more, you will need to get a separate shock absorber piece. Shock absorption is really important so that the dogs don't hurt their backs. The red one is called the tug line. It's a four foot line that connects to the main line on one end and to the dog's harness on the other with a bronze or brass snap. The combined gang line is about 12 to 14 feet long. The sections have a loop on either end. You simply put them together by looping one through the other. For the tug line, it doesn't matter on which end you loop it through the snap and on which through the main line. For the main line, it is important that the end that has the shock absorber is the end that attaches to the sled. The reason why the gang line is set up like this is so that you can swap individual sections out for what you need. For example, if you have a team of three or more dogs, you can either get a longer main line or attach a second main line to your first one. Or if I were to add a second dog to this setup, I would simply buy a second tug line and loop it through my bungee line together with my first tug line. You can also buy an already finished two dog tug line section, it's called a double leader section. These sections are fairly inexpensive. You can get a bungee and tug line set for about $20 online at most dog mushing outfitters. When you're done putting together your gang line, you will attach it to the bridle of the sled.
The tug line with the snap goes up front to where the dog is. The main line attaches to the bridle of the sled. You can either loop it through or attach it with a carabiner. The basic rule to remember is that the part that has the shock absorption always goes to your end and the snap to the dog's end. And then finally, the tug line snaps to your dog's harness. And that's already it. You're all set up and ready to go on mushing adventures together. Feel free to comment below with what your setup looks like or if you want to get into this sport with your dog, if you have any other questions.